Well, in today's morning dish, media giant Rupert Murdoch, he's calling it quits with his third wife, 44-year-old Wendy Dang. Murdoch, now 82, filed for divorce in New York. Murdoch was married to Dang for 14 years, and they have two daughters together. And his achy, breaky heart. Billy Ray Cyrus and his wife, Tish, they're ending their 19-year marriage. Lots of divorces this morning. Mm -hmm. The country singer and his wife separated back in October of 2010, but he later announced they were reconciling. But in a statement released yesterday, Cyrus announced the divorce was on, saying they were doing what's in the best interest for their family. The couple has five children together, including pop star Miley Cyrus. I had a co-anchor who was really, uh excited about him. Oh, well, about Billy Ray? Back when he had Ray? a mullet. Yes. Yeah, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Quite yeah. a mullet. I thought you were going to mm -hmm. say about uh, Hannah Montana, Miley no, Cyrus. No. no. Okay, well, a record-breaking day for the new Superman movie, Man of Steel. The film shattered an all-time box office record in the Philippines to become the nation's highest-earning opening day ever. In Taiwan, it was much of the same. The movie there had the biggest opening day of any Warner Brothers movie, beating out Harry Potter and the Dark Knight films. Man of Steel opens in the U.S. this weekend. It hasn't gotten great reviews, but apparently people... Good action movie, obviously, it's got a lot of action in it. And all of those superhero movies and stuff, mm -hmm. they always, people always go to check them out to see if it lives up to what they think. Yeah. So those movies, uh, the box offices are making their money. And another British actor gets a big role. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. A crack what's the, what's the other one? Uh, Spider-Man? There's the Spider-Man Spider he's, he's, coming up. He's British, too. Is he? Yeah. I didn't... I don't know, no, you know, you, you know more, but this you is, should them, be your segment. When you hear them really talk, they don't talk the same way they talk in the movies. Yeah. They have a British accent, Very but they know how to get rid of it. Yeah. Well, in case you haven't been tracking it completely, Lindsay Lohan has checked out of the Betty Ford Center. A court ordered Lohan to spend 90 days in rehab. That's after 30 days at the Betty Ford Center. Lohan has now transferred to a different facility. Before the start of her treatment, Lohan told CNN's Pierce Morgan that she considered another trip to rehab pointless. She has spent more than 280 days in drug and alcohol rehab facilities. Lohan's attorney released a statement saying Lohan looks forward to continuing her treatment elsewhere and building on the foundation established at Betty Ford. Makes you wonder why she's switching out. I don't know. I thought when you said that she had checked out, I was like, maybe she deserves a round of applause. Yeah. Finally, but switching spots so hopefully it's for the best yes the british boy band one direction caused a bit of an uproar in miami beach teenage fans spent hours camped out in the heat hoping to catch a glimpse of the group who was shooting a video there some parents were angry that the kids were left waiting for so long eventually the fans got what they were waiting for and the band came out uh, one direction huh yeah. you remember the boy bands that, that we had, yeah, like, like NSYNC, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, yeah. Even all the way back to New Kids on the Block. I was not one of those people, though, that stayed outside or that, you know, started screaming and crying. You yeah, know, I never saw them. I might have done that, though, if they were there. <laughs> you might have been, been, been one, one of those, those. girls. <laughs> it was a record-breaking day for the new Superman movie, Man <laughs> of Steel. Uh, it happened overseas. The film shattered and all time box office record in the Philippines to become the nation's highest earning opening day ever. In Taiwan, it was much of the same. The movie there had the biggest opening day of any Warner Brothers movie, beating out Harry Potter and the Dark Knight films. Man of Steel opens in the U.S. this weekend. You know, we were talking about boy bands and going mm -hmm. crazy over them. I was more into, you know, movie stars. I thought they were so cool. And Josh Hartnett. Okay. From Pearl Harbor, I was like, well, obsessed. that, yeah, mm -hmm, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I had like little print all around of when I was younger. John Taylor Thomas up in the locker. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. And yeah, it, <laughs> some Teen Buff magazine. But when it comes to mm -hmm. these superhero movies, that was never something that I really got into personally, but me either. Um, I'm starting to backtrack and try to catch up. So I haven't seen the newest ones, but yeah. I'm going back, you know, and I'm, I'm renting the old ones. And, um, I really, I did miss out. You know, these mm -hmm. movies are really well made and there's a lot of action and, and they're neat. They're yeah. good to watch. It's so cool what all they can do in yeah. the movies. So it's now. starting to make sense to me why they do so well at the box office. <laughs> Finally. You're getting it. Yes. 